Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday. I hope everyone is so good. Um, thank you so much for all of your lovely, supportive eye comments on my last video. As you can see, it's Monday today, and I it, this was the last time I saw you was Saturday. It is so much better. It's just it's on its way out now, and that's like a sty in all its glory, isn't it? Which is just looking really sexy as well, but just so much happier and not in pain anymore. And it's just on the way out. I'm doing all the good things that I'm supposed to do for it. So yeah, and we had a little friend join us over the weekend as well, which has just been top notch. <laughs> um, but yeah, feeling generally good and everything and had a big, lovely sleep last night. And I had a really nice weekend despite it being th there. <laughs> um, so I'm just shooting today and yeah shooting i've got someone coming to do some work in the house i what else have i got on today just very getting organized day which i actually really enjoy so yeah barley went live over the weekend and it's already doing so well we've sold lots of places so i'm honestly like just beyond happy um and we've got all the way till october now to just oh just like relax and get everything ready and yeah i just i can't wait so yeah, feeling really, really good. I've got a really lovely week this week and it's because it's tailed by me going to Lanzarote to surf for a week and I cannot bloody wait. Um, I I just need to talk to you about this whole top, actually, this whole thing. I'm going to show you in the mirror now. I'm shooting something for Lululemon today and I just want to wear it every day and all the time. Like, I've got some workout wear to shoot, but I've also got, like, some really comfy stuff that I'm going to put in a gift guide that's just gorgeous stuff to give people at Christmas or, like, whatever holiday you want to give it, um, give it to. But, oh, my God. Okay, so it's like a second skin. It's beautiful. It's so soft. I got a chocolate brown one. I can put the link on for you. And, it, oh, my God, I just... It's just, like, the comfiest thing. It's not too tight. It's... Oh, it's beautiful. And then I got these trackies from the men's section, which are just so soft and fleecy inside and just so, so warm and lovely. Um, and then I'm going to put, like, I've got, like, a really good, like, jumper as well. I'll show you. It's just beautiful. This is from the men's section. One sec. Here we go. It is gorgeous. It's so perfect. I'm like, oh, this is just the comfiest thing ever. And I would go out wearing this as well. Just put some trainers on and a big coat. Oh, it's just so good. Like they just understand comfort and sportswear, which is really, really hard to do, I think. So yeah, that's me today. Um, just pottering, getting things organized. I'm going away also tomorrow with Hunter and Lizzie. She's doing like an overnight thing for a few of us, which is gonna be gorgeous in the countryside. Um, and then, yeah, just like little appointments and bits and bobs, catching up with stuff this week. It's going to be a really nice week and it's very slow and it's very measured so that I don't get ill again. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I hope you're all good and you've had a lovely day. Excuse my little shiny eye. I've got my little ointment in there. I am um, really tired today. But all is well. I've just had a very heavy work day today, but I needed to do it because I've got a really busy week and I wanted to just enjoy the week and really wind down for when I get to my surf trip on Sunday. So everything is necessary and I've packed for like a million eventualities and things that I've got going on this week. So I just have to exist and get through the, the experiences and actually enjoy them all and engage in them instead of wondering and panicking about what's coming next. Um, so I feel very lucky to have had some time today to do that. Um, and I'm going to have an early night tonight because I'm getting picked up at eight o'clock in the morning to go to a trip with Hunter for Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. Um, with some of our friends, which is going to be so lovely. I think the weather's going to be horrendous though. So Hunter are very kindly giving me some wellies and a big, gorgeous, warm puffer jacket that's like a, a bit cropped. It's so cool. Um, so I'll be nice and warm at least. And yeah, I'm just going to like potter. I might put some, put some new bedding on and have a bath and then get in the new bedding. And that's it really today. Um, yeah, sorry, I haven't done an awful lot. I've only spoken to you a couple of times. But yeah, I'll take you along to the trip tomorrow. And yeah, I'll just take you along for this week. Got some really lovely things happening this week. Am I having a tattoo this week as well? But I'm going to, I'll vlog all about that um, as well. Um, what else have I got going on? 
facial, which I'm hoping my eye, it's on Friday, so I'm hoping like over the next four or five days, my eye is completely normal. Not that they touch your eyes and facial, but you just don't want people fussing with you, do you, when you've got something going on in your face. So yeah, um, I think that's about it from me for now. Unless anything else pops up, I'll be back. But in the meantime, I hope you've had a lovely day. I've had a lovely day. Things are okay. Things are good. This is good. I'm good. I won't say too much more in case I jinx it for myself. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday today and I am just waiting for my car to pick me up and take me to the Hunter overnight stay with Lizzie um, and my friends. So I'm really excited. It's very early um, and I think the car is quite late because the traffic looks horrendous out there. Um, but yes, very, very excited to be going. Oh, my hair's a little bit wet. Um, I'm just having a really nice stay. We're going to the Up Down Farmhouse in Deal in Kent, which I keep seeing all the time and it just looks so beautiful. Um, so I am feeling very lucky that we get to go there and chill out, especially with my friends, which is going to be just so gorgeous. Um, an eye update is that it is obviously so, so much better. It's just got like what looks like a traditional style, I think. Um, and I'm just gonna leave off makeup on my eyes for the foreseeable future, um, because then we can just live in permanent mouse mode for a little while longer. <laughs> but yes, all is well here today. Very excited to be going away. Um, got loads of work done yesterday and last night so that I can just go and like relax and feel really on top of stuff, so that's really good. And yeah, I'm gonna take you along for this because it's gonna be so gorgeous. Um, and the weather looks really nice, but I don't know. We've got forecasts of quite stormy weather where, we, where we're where we going. So it's a good job we've got wellies and puffer coats and stuff all packed. Uh, but yeah, I am going to go now and do an extra emergency wee before I get in this car. Because I don't know how long it's going to take. And it always stresses me out a bit that I can't have a wee. So I'm going to do that and then I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hello, guys. I've just arrived at the Up Down farmhouse with Hunter and they've got a couple of cottages in the main farmhouse and I'm in the gardener's cottage. Look how beautiful it is. I feel so spoiled, even the art's so good. I feel so spoiled, it's so cozy and beautiful in here. My Hunter goodies. Oh look, how nice this is just like the view from the bed. Little place to sit out there. Oh, so good. Hello guys. I'm just walking now in my hunter puffer. Look how nice it is. It's so thick and warm and it's like really lovely and cropped as well. I think it's super cool. And I've got my hunter wellies on just classic black ones. Um, I've just failed miserably at putting some concealer over my eye because it's so disgusting. It just looks like a huge spot, like a huge pimple on my eyelid. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, but hopefully it goes soon. Um, and we, it's just started to rain, so great. And we're about to go foraging. <laughs> um, but that's what Hunter Gear's for, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's really coming down now. So I am gonna go, we're going inside for a brew first and then we're gonna go foraging. So I will catch up with you later. So beautiful. So, um, yeah, it's the same principle you make it. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Wednesday today and I've just got back from Kent on the hunter trip with Lizzie and the girls. Um, we made it back in such a good time, it's only one o'clock and I obviously have had a bit of a weird health time recently and so the thing that's dropped off the most is the gym and it's been ma making me really sad. Um, 
So I am going to the gym right now. I'm going to do some cardio and some weights. And then later on, I'm going to go to Pilates. I'm just going to hit it all um, today, I think, and just, just go for it. Um, so yeah, and then I've just got some work to do. And then I'm going to pack for Lanzarote for my surf trip. Um, and I'm working with Near Suitcases, who are an amazing Australian brand that have launched in the UK now. Um, so I'll show you my suitcase later because it's very cool and very fun. And... Um, so yeah, I just need to pack and get myself sorted. I've got a new wetsuit, tried it on, it's perfect. So yeah, I'm just so looking forward to it now. So I'll go do some exercise, which will make me feel so nice. Um, and then yeah, just a day at home, I think. Uh, Kim's invited me to go and do a sleepover with her tonight at the hotel she's staying in, but it's in Chelsea. And I'm just wondering whether it's going to be just too much to go out there for a sleepover and then back tomorrow. And I've got such a busy day tomorrow. Um, I think actually I just stay in, I've just answered my own question. Uh, and have a bath and catch up on Married at First Sight. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go to the gym now and I'll be back later. Good morning, guys. Oh, it's, um, oh my God, it's Wednesday today. I've just been a good girl and been to the gym again this morning, which has really helped me again. I felt so good after I'd been yesterday. I was literally, I came out of there like on a cloud. I did just a bit of cardio, like slow cardio and um some arms yesterday and then i did a stretch for like 15 minutes after and my body was just like thank you thank you thank you um so it was so so nice i didn't end up going to pilates because i was knackered and i think that probably was a bit over overzealous like optimistic for me to like do two in one day after not having anything in my locker for a few weeks gym wise so yeah i just had an early night and it was lovely and then i've just been to the gym now and just did um i did legs today like this, like my favorite because it, it's so hard, but also my least favorite because it's so hard. <laughs> um, I did a little fake tan last night, which has made me feel way more alive. I use the Isle of Paradise drops and have done for absolutely years. It's the only thing that I can get on with. And I'm like a professional hand tanner at this point. I've got like a half naked video circulating between um, all of my friends that shows everybody step by step how to apply the fake tan on hands, feet, everywhere and they always all mess it up and they have to revert back to the video every year and this it's about three years old this video it's really funny um so yes feeling good today um I'm just I'm going for a meeting in about an hour so I'm just gonna have some eggs for food and then Oh, I'm not doing my tattoo today. We're doing it next week instead because we need more time than I've got, which is a bit of a pain because I was really excited to do it. But Adam is just such a love and has kindly put me in after I get back from Lanzarote instead because we're going to need a few hours. Um, and you always want someone who wants to be thorough and not rush and really take their time with it all. So I'm really like grateful for him. He's amazing and just the loveliest person. So we'll do that when we get back. Um... And then tonight I'm going to a Christmas light switch on in Central for with matches for Ray, their own brand, which is like my flipping favourite. So I've got a full look that they've sent and it is so fancy and beautiful and I'm going to feel like a million dollars. I've got to wear heel heels, so I'm going to get on the tube, my heel heels, which I haven't done for so long. Um, really, really dressed up, so I'm really, really excited for that. And I also just really quickly wanted to talk to you about kindness because... <laughs> The kindest thing happened to me recently. Um, somebody that watches my YouTube channel and has followed me on Instagram for a long time, she's called Natasha, Natasha France, and she is the most talented artist and has the biggest heart. She's based in Australia in Sydney and her studio overlooks the ocean and she has a real affinity with water and balance and all of this lovely, beautiful stuff that I'm trying to strive for in my life. And she emailed me and, and said, I'd really like to make you a piece of art. And I was just like, what on earth? Um, and so she asked me kind of what resonates with me and what colours make me feel something. And I just said, I'd, I'd, like, I like, literally just couldn't be more grateful. And I talked about the ocean and how it makes me feel and warm colours and, and just, yeah, like happy, 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 sunshiny colours and things that remind me of the ocean, lots of movement and stuff. And she's created this unbelievable bespoke piece of art for me and it's arrived and like I had a little tear when it came because I was just like what on earth like, I've d like I'm I, d I don't I don't 
I don't, I'm not deserving of st stuff like that. I don't think, you know, when you're just like, why, why, why have you sent it to me? Um, and I, I don't know, I just, I'm like, God, it's crazy and I can't thank her enough, but I'm gonna put a link on for her work because it is so beautiful and she's such an angel. Um, and I just couldn't be more thankful, really. It's just such an, a, an extravagant gift. It's crazy. Um, especially when it's somebody's art that is just so personal and so full of like love. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on about it now because I still can't believe it's here. I am going to show it to you. This is it, guys. I honestly, look how beautiful it is. Look at the colours. The blues, pinks, like warm creams. There's so much texture in here as well. Like it's it's just so beautiful. And I've I've just so far I've had it lent up just against the wall here. Um and I think I might like to get it framed. It's a canvas at present. So I might get it framed and hang it somewhere, but I just it brings me so much joy looking at it. I'm just I can't quite believe I've got a piece of original art, to be honest. It's um yeah, a bit overwhelming, but I'm so, so grateful for it. But yeah, I'm going to link to her, Natasha, because obviously she's just a dream. Hi, guys. Sorry, there's so much happening everywhere because I'm packing for umpteen things. But I just wanted to jump on and show you my new Adidas Wales Bonner top, which is like a footy top, which I'm living out my best tomboy life. So I've just put a little studded belt on my silver lake jeans that I had on last week, which I'm obsessed with and keep wearing all the time and I need to wash them. And then as usual, AD boots. So a bit girly, but also a bit, a bit I'm off to football, which I'm really enjoying. It's so soft and comfy and lovely. Um, so yeah, feeling really good in this outfit. I've just scraped my hair back because I've not had time to wash it after the gym. Put a bit of makeup on. Got this mirror. I, honestly, I, I, I clean it mm, two, three times a week. I don't know what happens to it. Anyway, a little bit of makeup on, but my eyes still not great. So I just don't think I want to put any eye makeup on and risk it. I just don't think it's going to be worth it for me. So yes, and then I'll be good for my surf trip. So I'm off to our meeting now, and um, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Hello guys. I'm just ready now to go to um, Ray to the Christmas lights switch on at Mount Street and just go and have my nails done and get a piercing apparently um and I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing so this what's that behind it's so dark I can't see uh, oh yeah okay so my top is is all from Ray so how beautiful is this I need someone when I get there to do the backup because it's just got one little button there but look at these amazing like lace bits lace ties at each side and then some really skinny, stretchy, super long flares. Like, oh, my favorite. Look at them. So, so chic, because I've just got a heel on. Um, yeah, and they're really, really long. So it'd be good if you've got like a skyscraper heel on if you're shorter than me, I'm like just under six foot. So yeah, um, and then they've given me a coat as well, which I'll show you in a minute to just, but I'm like, oh my God, I feel so dressed up. I'm gonna wear this on Christmas day as well when I go home with my family. And this is the coat. You can't really see it because it's dark, but it's like a really tall, gorgeous funnel neck, wool oversized jacket, and it's double breasted as well. Big pockets and buttons, and it's just so nice. So at least I'll be warm outside in the, um, in the Christmas lights switch on. So I'm gonna go off and do that now. I'm gonna go early, it's like only like five to five. Go early, say hi, and then get back and have an early night because I've been feeling a bit headachey today. So I'm like, okay, what needs to change here? And that is sleep, more sleep, everyone. I'm just gonna tell you to take a deep breath in and okay. then a slow breath out for okay. me, okay? Yes. And still deep breath. And out, yeah. Excellent. I'm going now. I've had a piercing. I've got my nails done. I've had a water. And I'm going. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all so well today. Despite the mousy face, it is like eight o'clock. I had about nine hours sleep last night, which I really needed because I was getting a bit of a headache yesterday and I was like the panic of 
sitting through another couple of weeks worth of headaches. So I was like, I can't do this, I can't do this. Um, but I've been really good with myself and having lots of time to myself and lots of staying in. And yeah, I think I'm like really getting my health on track and I feel so much better. I think the next thing that I need to address is probably my work balance, which I'm going to do. So I'm going away on Sunday to Lanzarote. I'm going surfing for a week by myself. So I'm going to have a lot of airplane mode on my phone. And then I've got, a. I, I really admire Grace Beverly. Um, she was an influencer and has taken herself and pivoted into entrepreneur and business owner founder. Like she is just a powerhouse and um, she actually has a book and a productivity journal that everybody raves about. Um, so I'm gonna take the book and the journal with me on this trip so that I can try and figure out my best balance for work because th my influencer side of stuff, truth be told, is not my favorite. Um, there are definitely projects that I work on that I am so excited about and I love so much, but those seem to be the projects that really feed into either Marnie Ray's or The Longing. So that's what really gets me excited. And I just, I feel like I haven't got all of the energy that I want to give to my brands because I'm still working on the influencer side of stuff. And that's not to say I don't know that, I don't understand that it's the biggest luckiest springboard of my life because without the influencer side of stuff I wouldn't have been able to pivot and launch my businesses we've been launching to crickets otherwise um so I'll always be so incredibly grateful for that but I think you change and things that serve you change as you get older and I think that that's okay so yeah I just want to be able to give a hundred percent to my businesses and not let the influencer stuff hold me back but it all needs so much attention. It's all so demanding that I'm like, how, how do I split it? And, and and that's where my stress comes from because I'm trying to split myself three ways all the time. So yeah, I'm hoping for a very positive trip. Lots of surfing, lots of alone time and lots of like getting my head on with my business stress. So we'll see. But I'm really hoping that I can crack it because yeah, I'm really, I don't know. You know, when you get to a level, you're like, I'm operating up here, so like anything else that happens to me is feels like a really big thing rather than just like, oh yeah, that's fine, I can sort that out and write a little note. I'm literally like, oh my God, how am I gonna do that? When am I gonna do that? I haven't got time, I can't sleep. So, and that's not fun and that's not how I wanna live my life, so I'm trying to take control of it. So, um, <laughs> oh God, sorry, I'm just choking on thin air. Um, my eye is a little bit better. Why did I shut this off? <laughs> this one it's just got like a little I don't know what that is it's like a spot it looks like a spot but it's not it's the end of the sty so it's on its way out I I'm just gonna put a bit of like moisturizer on so I have been obsessed with the skin rocks moisturizer it's glowy really moisturizing it's beautiful on and I put some fake tan on last night as well and it um, went really beautifully on with my fake tan drops. I use the medium drops in the Isle of Paradise and at the green ones and I've used these for absolutely years and I never stray away from it. Um, and I haven't used fake tan in ages actually because I think with being in the water all summer I was really, really tanned and very spoiled. Um, and now I just feel so pasty that I'm like, right, okay, we have to get some glow from somewhere and I don't use sunbeds. So this is, how we're going to do it until I get back in the water on Sunday. Oh, can't wait. Um, what else? Today. Today's an exciting day, actually. I'm very, very excited. So where I keep getting really anxious about my headaches, I'm actually really noticing when I went to, I went to see a neurologist and he reckons it's coming from a bit of stress, but that's like everyone normal. He thinks it's coming from my neck and my jaw. My jaw has been so painful. Like, I always have it. I have such tension here and I clench. I clench when I'm watching telly and then I'm like, oh God. And then it aches like mad and it radiates up my head and, and can start a migraine. And I didn't think that was possible. And then I, I was explaining to him how, like, about my jaw and stuff. 
And he was like, that's 100% one of the reasons people get migraines. So I was like, what? And so today I am going for Botox. I'm going to have Botox in my um, TMJ, TMJ here. And um, apparently it's like instant relief. People swear by it. It doesn't change your face. Like... I'm like, give it to me. <laughs> so at four o'clock today, that's where I'm going. And I just can't wait. I was sitting there last night like, oh God, this is so painful. And I wake up in the morning and it's going like mad. And when I chew stuff, it hurts. Like if I've got to chew something in the fridge, what was I eating? Chocolate. I was just eating some chocolate out of the fridge. And honestly, the pain, because I, I was using the muscles so much. I was like, oh, this is not right. <laughs> can't be in pain whilst I'm eating chocolate. It's my favorite thing to do. So yeah, I'm going today and I just cannot wait. Um, I'm going to this place called Tweak East in London, in East London, like London Fields Way. I've quite had quite a few mates that have gone there and really, really re um, rated them. So yeah, I've booked in for an appointment. I'm paying for it and stuff. Um, I always feel like I have to say that for some reason. Um, okay, so that's my exciting day today. I've got blood tests this morning. Um, just make sure everything's all good. You know, you're just like, right. But clean bill of health, guys. Let's just check everything's fine. And then I'm going to go to Pilates. And I've got a really chilled day. I'm going to get on top of everything. And just, yeah, relax. And I'm going out this evening, which would be nice. So I also wanted to talk to you about these. They're called Dew. And they're a forever eye mask. And they came in the um, Caroline Hirons uh kit for christmas like a festive kit thing god she puts together the most amazing things and you always just trust it because it's caroline um so they look like this they're reusable eye eye gels you can keep them in the fridge it's cold in my bathroom so they're fine there but you just reuse them and reuse them and reuse them and you wash them with like warm soapy water genius and they're my favourite things, these little eye gels, because they're just so nice and cooling. And they come in that cool little tin too. So let's go for this, shall we? Shouldn't really be putting anything in my eyes. But no, they're just cooling rather than... Oh, that's sweet. <sighs> I hope you guys are all okay. It's a weird time of year. Everyone's knackered. Everyone's busy. People hate Christmas. It's a tricky time. Okay then. So these, <laughs> I'll just keep them on for a little while and see see what happens. Wonderful. Um, this one's probably a bit high. They're like not sticky, but they stay put. You know how when they've got like product on, they slide down your face. They do for me anyway. But is that okay? Yeah, that's fine there. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Well, I just wanted to have a little chat with you this morning. I'm going to go make a cup of tea. And then I'm going to go and have my blood test. And go to Pilates. Hi, guys. I am just at week east with Rosie the founder over here is Rosie <laughs> and we just had a very in-depth chat about what we're going to do with my face um we are going to tackle the pain from the clenching here but because it is I've got very strong muscles here I also have to have some up here to kind of like balance it out to make sure my headaches stay at bay as much as possible um so yes I'm really looking forward to the results I'm hoping it's quite instant because it can be in some cases so I'm going to report back, but yes. Hello, guys. I am ready for my dinner. I am wearing my new top that I got today from Reformation, which is like a cotton body with a little silk bra attached, which I think is just so cool. So I feel really, really nice in this. Um, and it's quite big. I would normally be definitely a 10 in this, but I got an 8. So just try it on or size down by one size, I would say. And then I've just got vintage Levi's and some Chanel ballet pumps on. And I'm just going to pop a little white shirt on as well because it's freezing. Um, and just take my little mini Chanel bag over here. 
and that's it. That was a big sniff, wasn't it? <laughs> um, I feel a bit snotty. But yes, all is well here. It's just taking me about half an hour to do my hair, which never happens. I think it's it's just very ready for a cut and colour. Um, but I've put mascara on for the first time in like... 12 days, something like that. So I feel very awake. <laughs> but yeah, I am... Um, I'm ready to go. I'm very, very looking forward to a wine, but you're only allowed one once you've had the Botox done. So yeah, really savour the one wine, shall I? <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit and have a nice evening. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How is everyone doing? I have been up and out to sorry, um, Pilates this morning. I went to Studio Anatomy, uh, went at 10 o'clock and it was so hard because <laughs> I've been back to the gym this week and I did a leg day on the day before yesterday. My legs were in tatters and I did a jump board class. <sighs> when I tell you I struggled. Oh my God, I could have cried at some points. It was brutal today, but so good. Um, and then I just walked down Broadway Market, got a coffee from my favourite place. I can never say what it was called, but it begins with A. Arabica, Arabi, Arabi. I don't know what it's called. Um, but I always get a Spanish latte because it's so sweet and milky. Um, so I've had that, but I had a decaf though because we don't do caffeine in this household anymore. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've had a really lovely, nice morning. Let me talk to you about this Botox that I had yesterday, right? So I had my Botox done in um, my jaw for my TMJ pain, migraines and all of that. I was recommended by my neurologist to go have that done, so that's what I did. Sat down, had an amazing conversation with Rosie, who's the founder at Tweet, a place called Tweak East. And she was so warm and informative and I asked loads of questions. There's nothing she didn't cover. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go for it. So I did it there and then. And when I tell you the relief I felt as soon as that needle went in, I was like, oh, I felt like my face was going to melt off. It was heaven. And it's been like a bit achy since just because it's settling. But like, I, ca I can't tell you how much better it is because I clench so, so much, which is why I've, I get migraines from that. Um, and honestly, like, oh, I, it's, I just, I hope it just lasts and lasts. Should last about four or five months, she said, but everyone's different. So yeah, I just, I'm buzzing about it. I'm so, so happy. I, yeah, I can't believe how much it has already helped. And I slept really well last night and stuff. Oh my God. So I'm really just hoping that over time it just gets better and better even. And she said it's like quite preventative because what it does is, atrophies the muscle which is the op weakens it basically means me weakens and where mine if I clench my jaw my mus muscles pop out loads because they're really strong but we need them not to be so strong because that's what's causing all the issues and the pain so the Botox gives it a break basically and weakens the muscle which is what we need to do um so yeah I was literally like what on earth and it didn't hurt like it was just like a sharp scratch like a little little tiny needle it wasn't like mad or like intrusive or painful or anything it was done in, like one second so yeah I'm so happy I came home last night and I was like oh my god I went out for a really nice dinner last night at Bistro Tech as well in East London which is always so nice it's very expensive in there though but it was really really nice um and I was home for about nine o'clock and a big 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 sleep um, so yeah, that's me today. It's absolutely chucking it down outside and all I've got left to do is put some washing on um, and pack the rest of my case because I'm going surfing tomorrow. I'm going to Spain, I'm going to Lanzarote. Um, it's like 26 degrees every day. I am going to surf every day and skate every day. So I haven't, I've, I've been trying to learn to skate. So ready for Marnie Ray's in Bali because we're doing surf and skateboarding and I want to be competent on a skateboard so I have to keep it up but yeah I'm skating every day in Lanzarote as well so I'm gonna have such an adventure I'm not working well I have to actually I'm not picking up any new work but I've got a lot of I've got lots of stuff to do for work while I'm there which is such a shame but people need stuff doing before Black Friday 
so I understand, but I also am like, oh my god, why can I just never take any time off? Um, so yeah, but in the mean, in the, in the times that I have got downtime, I will not be anywhere near this phone. I'm telling you right now, I will vlog along the way because I think it'd be quite nice, and I do like doing a vlog. It's not like hard work or anything. So yeah, um, yeah, I just can't wait. A flight like eleven, nice little flight, check in, staying at like some surf house thing, just like a communal place so I can meet people. And then my first, I'll go out for, I don't know if I'll go for a surf tomorrow. Maybe I will. Depends what time I get there. I'll check the tide when I get there. Um, but I honestly, I'm so ready. I feel like I've been crawling towards this solo holiday. Crawling. But yeah, things are good, guys. I am feeling good. I'm drinking my bone broth. I've got my kefir for my stomach. I've got my vitamins. I'm exercising again i'm going for a self-care trip i'm like okay this is going to be really good and like i said i've ordered my productivity stuff from grace beverly that she's written about to see if it aligns with anything or like speaks to me in a way that i can really try and manage my life a bit more so that's me we're good we're good as gold over here um and i hope you guys are really good as well and i will see you next time from <laughs> Lanzarote um oh my god I can't wait but yeah thanks so much for watching and for bearing with me whilst I've had this very weird strange sickly period I am really happy in my life but when my health goes to pot I just I mean it's the same for everyone like I probably think I've got quite bad health anxiety actually <laughs> but um I think that's a lot of people have that don't they so yeah just doing the best I can we all should just do the best we can to look after ourselves, don't we? My brother always says to me, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I'm like, Mike. Um, so yeah, not, not words to live by essentially, but also words to live by when you want to have the very best time that you can in your life whilst we've got the life. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to go now. But thanks so much for being here. And I'll see you. I'll see you from Spain. Bye.